All right, moving on to example four. And example four will be a quick one. This is just a reminder of how we put things in our calculator. And so just a really strong reminder here to check your mode on your calculator. If it's a radian problem, make sure you're in radians. All right, and so you know you're in radians as long as you don't see a little degree symbol. All right, we don't see the degree symbol up there. We're automatically in radians. All right, so arctangent is the same as hitting the tan negative one button on your calculator. Punch in negative 8.45, and it will give you out an answer. All right. Now we're going to get an error down here on number C, problem C, because we're trying to do the arc cosine of two. Remember, cosine is x over r adjacent over the hypotenuse, and remember that the hypotenuse always has to be the longest side, so we'll get an error on that one. So go ahead and plug this in, see if you can punch in the inverse sine of 0 0.31, make sure you're in radians, and you will get this correct. If you did this perfectly, correct answer here is 0 0.315, and the problem does say give me two decimal places, so we're going to round this off properly to 0 0.32 as your answer. All right, so we're going to look at composite functions, compositions of the functions. And so this is where we'll have a sine and an inverse sine, or a tangent and an inverse cosine. All right, so one inverse and one regular. The one thing that we want to look at here is that sine and arc sine will always cancel each other out. Sine and arc sine cancel out, and we're left with x. But we're only allowed to do this for the proper uh, inputs for everything. So our x needs to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 for sine. Need to be in quadrants 1 or 4. Or if we're doing cosine, our inputs need to be between 0 and pi. Okay, so those, that's our uh, input, that's our domain on these. So when we do these problems, we'll keep that in mind. All right, so we'll take a look at the examples here tan of arctan of negative 5. All right, let's really quickly flip back here and look at our domain and range. All right, so on our answers here, it says if x is a real number, I'm looking down here at tan. All right, so x can be any real number. So negative 5 is okay. All right, and as long as y is in between uh, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, then we're going to be okay. In this problem where it goes tan and then arctan, we're going to look at this first one. And so on here, we need x to be any real number. So that's fine. It is. Tan and arctan cancel out, and our answer is negative 5. Let's go to the next one, arc sine of sine. All right, so we look at arc sine. Let me see this real quick. Arc sine of sine is right here. So we're looking at the y case. So our y needs to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Let's go see if that's the case. It's not. 5 pi over 3 is bigger than that. All right. So we need to change this to a number in between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. All right, so let's remember how we can change any angle that we want. We can always add or subtract what? We can always add or subtract 360. So let's go ahead. 5 pi over 3 is right now too big. So let's subtract 2 pi or 6 pi over 3. I'll end up with negative pi over 3. Is negative pi over 3 in between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2? Yes, it is. A half is bigger than a third, so it's OK. At that point, the sine and the arc sine cancel, and we have our answer, negative pi over 3. Okay? So you would want to say 5 pi over 3 at the beginning, because sine and arc sine are going to cancel, but it's not allowed. We have to convert it into an angle that's between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. If that's confusing to you, you can always do it in degrees. Make it an angle that's between negative 90 degrees, and 90 degrees. Okay? So if we converted pi over 3 into degrees, 180 divided by 3, this is the same as saying negative 60 
degrees, which is definitely in between negative 90 and 90. All right, let's look at our last one here, cos of negative cos. We'll flip back and look at that example. That's right here. All right, our x values have to be in between negative 1 and 1. Flipping forward, pi is bigger than 1. Can't happen. Okay, you cannot do the cosine where the x value is bigger than the hypotenuse. That's what this is saying. They're saying the x value is pi and the hypotenuse is 1. Can't happen. We're going to be undefined. All right, I know this part's confusing. Stick with this. Uh, we'll try some more in class on these, but it's okay if this is confusing for you. This is the confusing part of this chapter. Try and see if you can figure out 49. All right, if you've given it a shot, I'm going to flip back here. Sine of arc sine. I'm going to look at my restrictions here. Sine of arc sine is this top one. It says x has to be between negative 1 and 1. So let me flip forward here. Is 0.3 between negative 1 and 1? It absolutely is. So those cancel, and our answer is just 0 0.3.